How do you define cheap? If you're talking about what costs very little money, you're correct. But cheap also can help define the quality of what you're buying. Because just because it's less money doesn't mean it's a better value. And speaking of value, I'd like to introduce you to value time. Bacon. Goes for about five, six bucks a pound. It's a pretty big deal. Everyone loves bacon, it's in high demand. Value time will give you bacon for around two bucks for this whole pack. It's a pretty good deal. But if we pop it out and take a look here, we'll see that it's uh it doesn't look too great. You know, it's a lot of fat going on in there, some meat and stuff. But you know, okay, whatever. But you know, we can't judge a book by its cover. Let's let's delve in a little bit and look at the back. I think this speaks for itself. Do, do you see any semblance of meat there? All I see is fat. Just like every feminist ever. So, um, not at my own request, but at Austin's bidding, I'm gonna make this up. But we're not gonna stop there. Because we are masochistic bastards, we also have two other products to display to you. We have condensed cream of mushroom soup, which to me more looks like condensed disease. I feel like this is something that someone would throw up if they were struck with a zombie plague, and this would be like the infectious substance. Looks like some contents of someone's catheter bag. And then we have off-color mystery meat beef, yeah right, ravioli in a tomato sauce. I don't know about you, but None of this seems very appetizing, but I think that's why we're doing this video. So we're gonna uh, crack into these, see what it's like, make them up, and um, me and Austin will, will suffer and hopefully suffer for your entertainment. Let's get going. So, first thing that should be noted when assessing the quality of something is the smell. To help gauge, we have some decent proper bacon here from uh, Jamestown, from North Carolina. So let's, let's uh, get in there, get in my box, take a sniff. You know, it's, uh, there we go. Bacony goodness. Everyone knows what bacon smells like. That's what this smells like. Now, let's look at the bacon we prepared earlier. This nice, fatty mass here. It's... It's got the semblance of bacon, but it's got a, a multifaceted cheapness. It's got like a sweet element to it, but mostly it tastes like that really, you know what this is? This is when, when you get like, you know, bacon bits in your salad, like Bob Evans, and it tastes really cheap and salty. That's what this fucking thing is. This is what they use for your salads for bacon bits. It smells exactly like that. It smells like pure salt and disgusting hell. It smells nothing like that stuff. It's just, and just the, the, all this fat that's like got. Look at this. Come in here and get my box. Look at that. It's got these weird like dots on it there. What the fuck is that? And this shit's in date too. <sighs> Let me touch your fetus. Oh my god. It's going for a feel here. Oh god, it tastes like. It feels like embryo fetus, aborted baby ba eggs. Oh no. Uh. It's so slimy. It's... It's like, I, I'm amazed at the slimy disgustingness of that. Like, it's, it's really... You're not supposed to have slick. this much fat on bacon, dude. It's really slick and slippery and gross. I love bacon fat, but that's ridiculous. So while we're waiting, uh, Austin's popping open the can of disease. Oh, goodness. Let me just, uh, get a light on. Oh. Oh, God. No. It's... it's thick. Senpai. It's... <laughs> it's gelatinous. That's gonna go in your system. I don't want... I really don't want that. Really, I'm just like, oh, 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 that sound it made was the, 
It was the sound of infection leaving through one's butthole. I, I don't even want to, like, get near it. And one cup of water or milk. Like, I just... I just, before we even... I just want to... Uh, it's like sucking my 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 spoon back in. Yeah. Captain, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> this is like prison food. Am I kidding? This is a prison. Look at that. Uh, yeah. I can't do this. Look. Fuck putting ten year sentences, just give him a bowl of this. Wait, let me let me give this can a smell here. Oh! Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, oh my god. So we um just took it out of the microwave and uh go go deep in there, bring out some of those lovely pieces. Look at those chunks. God. I don't want to live anymore. It's so watery. No. It's warm. Well, let's let's let's, let's give it a sniff. Hold on. Oh god, this smells just like the can. And that's to say, dead milk. It smells like starch. It smells like hell. Austin, don't do it. I'm gonna do it. No, you gotta save it for when we actually do it, Austin. No. It tastes like water. That child's fucking shit. So, is it good? You ever eat Jello? Yeah. This is not like fucking Jello. No. This is a disgrace to cooking. So now we're gonna open up the young ravioli. I'm really afraid of having like a gelatinous sauce in there. That's gonna be you. You're gonna be that kid. I'm gonna be really happy with everything. I'm gonna just jump for fucking joy. You know why? Why? Because his mother doesn't care about him because she's been buying value time products. So if he gets some cheap like SpaghettiOs, he's like thrilled by it. I feel like the can is the only thing you're paying for. The oh prices. god, wait a minute. Did that... Oh no. It, there's like no... It looked very gelatinous. Mm. Not not bad actually, not bad of a smell. I'm not gonna lie. Get over here. Okay. Very uh, sharp though. Yeah. Let's see, this is supposed to be ravioli, so... We have one, two, three. Four. You can tell that they all look like they came out of a processor. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's nothing natural about that. There's definitely some mystery meat in there. It's supposed to be beef, but uh, let's be honest. Then again, that's supposed to be bacon. And that's supposed to be cream of mushroom soup. Okay. This is not meat. Ugh. What is that? Oh, tear it open. Let's. Uh. Oh no. It looks like the inside of a, of a kid's diaper. It looks like someone shit themselves into this ravioli. That was pulver. It's ta it tastes like refried beans. Imagine that consistency. But with a lot of pepper. Oh God. But not too much to make you go, ugh. Ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kenshin, and I do want to continue living, but I don't know, after what I've witnessed during this preparation, I don't know if that'll happen. Let's start off with what's most likely to honestly be the most palatable of this. We have here rubber. The value time rubber. Just, just And since this is a nice, greasy, fatty piece, you can just, just look at that. Let's do it. Oh, 
doesn't taste too bad. But there's something kind of gross about the way the fat is disintegrating in my mouth. Like it's not that pleasant thing where like, you know, you know like the a nice bacon. It's like wrapped around a fillet or something. This it's just like I can feel the particulates just like coming apart and dissolving on my tongue. One more, just just for you two. Just for you guys. The thing is, I normally really like the fat on the bacon. This, I feel like I'm chewing on a bacon flavored tire. Like someone drove it through the pig farm on a really hot day. And I'm licking and gnawing on that tire. And God forbid, if you swallow this wrong, this fat is balling up and it goes down on you, you're gonna fucking choke on it. Ugh. That was palatable at least. Alright. Enough of that. Let's uh, cleanse the palate. No. No. Here we have beef ravioli. But I think it's mystery meat. It just, it's got this really cheap tomato smell, very sharp. I'm only gonna eat one of these, if that. It, it doesn't smell good. Let's, let's bite it in half so we can get in there and take a look at the intestines. No. No. Oh. They call this beef. That's the inside coating of one of the raviolis there. So that is beef. You see through the sauce there? That literally looks like shit from a baby's diaper. It looks like the inside of a septic tank. Oh. No. No, 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 no. <sighs> and now the, the piece de resistance. The T virus. The cream of mushroom soup. Served lukewarm. Oh, look at this. Let's, you ready for this? Ready for this stirring action? You're gonna want. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It smells so bad. I don't even know what that was. It, you know what I feel like they did? We're not gonna eat any more of this, are we? No. Please stop. Okay, you know what I feel like they did to make this cream of mushroom soup? Bring that camera down here. You know what I feel like they did? You know, they, they, they took a, a water base and they said, huh, there's nothing there. So you know what? Let's take the fat off this bacon and just throw it all on in there. And you know what? That's how they made it. You know, they had this really fatty, clumpy mixture and they just said, yeah, let's put that in there. Call that cream of mushroom soup. And, and that's what it tastes like. It, it feels like the, the soup particles are not soup or condensed milk. It tastes like pure fat. And while we're at it, they're thinking, huh, we need to have some sort of meat in there, some sort of mushroom thing going on, but we don't want to use real mushrooms. So I don't know, let's just use some mystery meat and just mix it all on in there. You know what? That's what they fucking did. And it's disgusting and gross and literally looks like someone's intestines after they have died. This this is what the inside of someone's intestines look like after an autopsy when they've been poisoned. You know, this, I feel like, this this soup is the combination of all of that. It's the shitty fat from the bacon and the, the disgusting tang of that mystery meat with just sadness. This is fucking gross. That is ridiculous.
but thankfully, to reward me and my suffering, I've got a uh, a, a cheese a peanut butter che chocolate cheesecake brownie. I did it all for this. Still tastes cheap, ish. It's no gourmet brownie, but you know what? After that, by this, this is getting better by the fucking second. Right now, as far as I'm concerned, this came straight from the fucking Cheesecake Factory. Fuck value time. Fuck it right up its ass. That damn near killed me. Thanks for su watching my suffering, ladies and gentlemen. You all suck, but I love you. You know, I feel like McDonald's would be a healthy meal compared to this. I just burped and it tasted like puke. Also, pay attention here to the uh, amount of grease on the four rolls of paper towels as we're peeling them back. And then look at the plate. Then the light there. Look at that. Through four rolls of paper towels, that ended up on the plate. Mm, look at the paper towels. Oh, they're so Oh, God. I can taste bile in my throat. I, I oh, oh, my throat's burning. Oh, oh, I need to go die.